AOC has a challenger. And hopefully, I could tell you, uh, that district will make a better choice. Uh, this new challenger is from Jamaica. And she's colored, a person of color. Her name is Sheree or Sherry Murray, straight out of New York. What do you think about her? Do you think she has a chance? And do you think that the district will make a better decision now that they have what I call a qualified candidate? Yeah, I, I've got a few comments about it. I, I, I'm very glad um, she is a, a lady of color because she can't be called a white nationalist racist yep. <laughs> like you will call everybody else. Um, AOC is about as white as I am, and this lady that is running uh, on the Republican ticket uh, is uh, the color that you are. So it's you can't be a white lady and call the black lady a racist. You know um, That's not going to work. She's going to have to come up with something a little bit um, more believable. Now, here's the problem. The district is very heavily Democrat mm -hmm. in terms of registration. People have to be really angry to cross over from their normal, I vote Democrat for the last 20 years kind of mentality to, I'm going to vote for the lady from Jamaica because I'm so fed up with AOC. So in regards to that, my expectation is that she's going to get primaried. And what that means is it's very, very rare, very rare for someone to win the way AOC did, which is she beat Joe Crowley in the primary. And whoever, as I said before, wins the primary in a Democrat district that doesn't have problems will win the same as the Republican side because the majority of people are party loyal. If somebody primaries her on the Democrat side, in the summer of 2020, next year, and beats her, that person's going to Congress. The question is, who's going to step up in the Democrat Party to come after her? I bet you there will be some people. And if the campaign is organized well enough, they don't have to say what they stand for, Jermaine, to win. All they got to do is say, this is what the hot dog stand lady slash bartender has done in the last two years. And this is what the hot dog stand lady slash bartender has said in the last two years. Is this what you want for the next two years? And if people just look at that germane, they would vote for Daffy Duck in the primary just to get rid of AOC. She is her own worst nightmare. She's so out of the mainstream. As you said, mm -hmm. she's got a 22% approval rating. That is horrible. As bad as people say Trump is on the Democrat side, his approval rating is two and a half times that. I swear. <laughs> and, you know, when I look at uh, this uh, woman here, and she she really uh, stepped out of nowhere in my eyes, um, a lot of the crowd here is saying that, will she be a rhino? They're they're uh, they're very skeptical about her and the way she um, just showed up. They're thinking that she may just be a establishment plant sitting there just to, uh, you know, do the wrong thing and not help Donald Trump. She's one of these uh, Republicans who don't want to uh, do the right thing. This is what the crowd is worried about. Do you have any reservations like that about uh, Miss Sheree here? Her background is just literally unknown. I mean, she's an immigrant from Jamaica. She's self-made. Um, I, I watched one interview uh, with her on uh, uh, the national news. I think she was, um, if I remember correctly, she was interviewed by Sean Hannity. Uh, she's pleasant. Uh, yeah, she's soft spoken. Cool. Yeah, she's well spoken. Uh, she's classy. Uh, she presents herself well. Uh, she's not a um, you know, twenty-something child like AOC, <laughs> and 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 I think, absent some skeleton in her closet, uh, she may have a shot at it. Uh, we just don't know enough about her yet. Um, I I almost feel like, as I said a minute ago, as long as there's nothing bad there, and if her campaign can just tell the story 
about AOC. If AOC makes it through the primaries, in other words, she's not primary, or she is and she wins, then this gal or someone else like her may have a good shot uh, to beat AOC. And it won't be because she's terrific. It's because she's not really bad. Mm -hmm. And boy, is that pathetic. When you vote for the not bad person instead of somebody you really like, what that means is Congress has sunk to a new low. And uh, in the case of that district, it very well may be the case.